All right, fifth graders, this is Mr. Combs here, and um, I'm going to be walking you through the final problem on our review of Standard 5 NBT 7 on this um, week of May 4th for your math. So, use the table below to find the difference of 2 and 55 hundredths minus 1 and 57 hundredths. So, this essentially right here is just a place value chart that we're going to use um, to answer our addition or our subtraction question or difference question. So the first thing I'm going to do is just visually, I'm going to kind of set this up so it looks more kind of like a standard algorithm problem. I'm going to draw the kind of bigger thick line down here um, for that kind of baseline right there. And then I'm going to add my um, operation here where I'm doing subtraction. So um, basically the same thing. We're just going to be able to visually show how we um, can represent these differences. So the first thing I'm looking at is I'm going to go over here to my hundredths and I see that I would need to take away 7 from 5. So I cannot take away 7 from this 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle one of these tenths and it is going to go one place value smaller over here to the hundredths. Okay, I'll be regrouping 10 of those now. And so I'm going to do the same squares. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do them in groups of five to keep it nice and organized. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I regrouped 10 and I got rid of that guy over there in the tenths. And now simply what I'm going to do is since I'm taking away 7, I'm going to cross out 7 of these guys up here. And then the amount that's left over that's not crossed out is going to be my answer right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and then I see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 left over. Okay, so that leftover amount, that difference is going to go down there. Um, and I'm going to write it out just in numerical form down here um, underneath my hundredths. So my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. I have 5 tenths, okay, but I only have 4 tenths now that I could take away from. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go one place value larger, okay? And he's going to go to the next place value. One, one is equal to 10 tenths, okay? So I'm going to draw out 10 tenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? All right, so I drew out 10 tenths, and now I'm just going to cross um, out five of these and then the amount that will be left over here up top is going to be the number that I put below So I'm going to cross out five. So one two three four Five okay, and then I'm going to count up the remaining amount. So I have one two three four five six seven eight nine Remember we're not counting this one since he's already been regrouped and um, placed into that uh, hundredths place value so we have nine left over now. One thing I forgot to do is I'm going to add a decimal point on each one of these numbers, including in my difference down here. Okay. All right. And then simply we have one minus one. We can take one away from one, crossing that one out. I'm left with um, zero up top. Okay. So my answer is going to be 98 hundredths. And so now what it's asking us is we showed our work with the model above, so we can check that off, and then check your work with an addition problem. So we're using the inverse operation. And so what I can do is I have two and 55 hundredths minus one and 57 hundredths, okay? And we got 98 hundredths. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add 98 hundredths to my um, smaller uh, number that I was subtracting, right, which would be 1 and 57 hundredths, and it should equal, if we did it correctly, 2 and 55 hundredths. So let's try it out. 1 and 57 hundredths plus 
98 hundredths. Remember, I'm lining up by place value. Okay, if you line up by place value, your decimal point will also be lined up. Remember, we sometimes don't always have the same exact amount of um, digits in our numbers, so we are always thinking about place value instead of that decimal point. So tenths under tenths, hundredths under hundredths, one lined up with ones, okay? All right, that's gonna be a zero. And so now we're just gonna get to it. So um, seven plus eight is gonna give me 15. Regroup that five, or leave the five. Regroup the one, okay? Um, one plus five gives me six. Plus nine is also gonna give me 15. Regroup that one. I'm gonna place my decimal point now, okay? And then one plus one gives me two, okay? I see that that number is the same as my original um, number I was taking that one and 57 hundredths away from. So that tells me that we did it correct. So um, thank you for listening. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you all and great work.